Right, hey lads and lasses, and welcome to Darts Coaching with Dynamite Dave. Today what we're going to address is the second part of the basics. If you go back to the last main video that I made that's not a live broadcast video, you will find the foot position. So we've done the foot position, we've learned why it's absolutely essential that you get a rock solid stance to actually throw from and those are your foundations to build from those foundations what we do is we come up and from those foundations come comes the upper body or the upper torso thorax neutral and all those sort of like terminologies that we need to understand and what I'm going to do to help you understand those is we've got another little video same as thing is on that one if you go back and watch the foot position video now what we've got is we've got the upper torso or the body position video this is a cracking one, this, um, it shows you exactly how to get into the right position and it even goes as far as getting the arm onto the stop. So that's all part of the body position and then the, the, the video after this one will be the icing on the cake which is the mechanical throw. So don't forget, like, subscribe and hit that notification bell and you will get a notification when that next video comes out. The other thing not to forget about is <clears throat> in a couple of days time it's the donators free prize giveaway so the donators free prize giveaway this month will be at 12 o'clock on the 25th so that video will go out at 12 o'clock on the 25th of who's actually received the gifts this month so that should be exciting and fun as well part of this video at the end so we're going to be doing the upper body position and after that what we're going to do is that little bit of a fun bit where on the last video you'll see what I did was I got a set of darts that I'd only thrown once or twice before and never hit any really big scores with and I did a thing here, throw in until I get a 180 so how long does it take Dynamite Dave to get a 180 with a different set of darts uh, this, this one is the thing of the Simon Whitlock darts now what I have to say here is this was fil filmed a couple of weeks ago because I've had the Simon Whitlock darts now a couple of weeks so those like darts were relatively new to me and all I did was I just thought, and this is a bit of a series, what I'm going to do in a few videos going along is I'm going to get different darts and see how long it takes me in minutes to actually throw a 180. So without further ado we'll get on to the video and the video is the upper body position so let's go and have a look at that right now. Right, so welcome to video two. Video two is the upper body position. So now what we're doing is we're putting another building block on that first solid foundation. So the solid foundation is your foot position. That your first building block is your upper body. What that means is standing straight upright. So like this, not like this, with the head back, not leaning forward. Whatever you do, don't put a massive curvature in your spine to try and stand upright. All it is is just nice and neutral, like again like you stood at the bar ordering a drink or you just start talking to friends it's feet shoulder width apart and just relax and this will allow you to then get the arm position and the mechanical throw right so part of the upper body position is your first part of your arm so what we're going to do now is as you can see there my elbow is level all the dynamite day throw is is using virtually two elements which is your elbow and your release, that's all there is. Standing on the hockey as, as we've described in, in video one, the arm comes up, the elbow is level and all you've got then is that tick tock motion. Right, so that's the upper body position. Right, so you've seen the upper body position video, really, really interesting that, isn't it? The fact that you, you're standing up just as if you were stood at a bar talking to someone need to do any excessive leaning you don't have to have your feet excessively wide apart it's just dead dead relaxed the dynamite dave weight is the simplest and the easiest and in my opinion obviously it is but it's the best way to throw darts because it just makes everything simplicity itself so now what we'll do without further ado is we'll go into the little ending part of the video which is how long does it take dynamite dave to throw a 180 with the Saturn and Whitlock darts. So let's go on over.
hold of the faulty. Oh. At least I know I'm on forty. Twenty one. Thirty three. Yep, there it is, 180! 